What's up guys? I feel like this is going this is a needed video for everyone that is currently holding AMC and GME. I am not quitting on either one of the stocks. I personally believe in both of the stocks way more now than what I ever have previously. So what we just need to do is we need to ignore all the FUD that the hedges are throwing at us because every single short position right now is just getting absolutely pounded because we keep driving the stock price up and up and up and up. And guess what? We're not selling the stock because the volume is considerably lower than what the average volume is, which means we're just holding on to it. We're getting toots coming in on AMC and buying in the AMC. And then on top of that, with GameStop, we have Ryan Cohen just pretty much taking over the board. Like, I, I mean... He's not named the CEO, but he is definitely making a lot of CEO moves, bringing all these huge people on from huge e-commerce businesses. And GameStop is going to get turned in this e-commerce giant. But let's go on. Just do me a favor. If you believe in the stock, both of the stocks, AMC, GME, I mean, apes, we're ape, apes together. Like, don't say that one's going to squeeze and then it's going to mess up the other one because these both are very high squeeze candidates we just need to bond together and be one cohesive unit together instead of trying to just be coupled and be like oh well you have the gme people over here and you have the amc people over here we're all one people we're accomplishing the same greater mission for the great same greater aspect of things but just drop a like on the video. Just keep strong together kind of thing. If you drop a dislike on this video, it probably means that you got screwed by the short. You got paper handed by the shorts because you fell for the flood kind of thing. But also do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell too. It helps out the channel a lot. It really helps me grow. And I've been seeing a lot of growth from you guys lately and I greatly appreciate that. Let's just keep it up so we can keep on growing this channel. And I would love for this channel to keep on growing but let's hop on over here the weeble what i did is i just pulled up the five day weekly chart not the five day the five year weekly chart just to remind us of where we were so this is currently where we're sitting as of 0401 2021 you can see down here 1818 oh and then this really was the start of COVID. Like back here, this is 2018, and we had a huge sell-off here. But the huge thing is we have to remember, look at where we were. 2018, 1026 to 2018, $19. Where were we? Let's go, let's go right before, the, before COVID of last year. We were sitting around $7. Before that, right around the holiday season, we were sitting at, mm, well, there we go, 10, 15, 11, 15, we were sitting at $9. So we just got to remind ourselves, the stock is worth way, way more. If we go further back in the 2019, back in March of 2019, we were trading at $16 a stock, $16 a share. Like we just got to keep this in mind and we have to be patient with the stock. Now with GameStop, GameStop, unfortunately, like, we're just way out of like what everyone thinks fundamentally is what GameStop is worth. But the huge thing that we're playing GameStop for now is not for what the company is now, but looking forward into the future and seeing what the stock is going to be in the future. And that is the huge thing that we have to keep in mind there is the future of GameStop is going to be a hopefully esports, e commerce, just titan in the field kind of thing and that's what we're aiming for for this i mean ryan cohen made chewy a e-commerce thing like chewy is beating everyone in pet products as far as it is concerned when on going on the internet no one really goes to amazon no one really goes to PetSmart online or anything like that they just go to chewy because they know it's got the best prices and that's where they should go because Chewy also does like, I think it was like two day delivery or something like that, or talks to your vets too for all the medication. Like that's insane kind of thing. So we just, I'm just trying to remind us and like, I'm doing this partially for myself too, that we just need to be patient. We need to hold on to the stock. We just need to believe in it and just continue to have that high conviction. But 
that's what I got for you guys today. Like, sorry, it's a brief video, but just smash the like button for like in the stock. Smash the dislike button if I don't know if you don't like the stock for some reason. I know all the shorts are gonna dislike it. So if this has a high dislike to has a very high dislike rate, high dislike rate. I know that the shorts are here. So, but the longs. Let's hit that like button and jack it through the roof, just like we want to jack the price of AMC and GME to screw the shorts. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.